Hello everybody, this is Bugsy. I'm here to talk I'm here to talk about Mar I'm here to talk about Marvel Spider Man. You know, for the PlayStation 4 for the PlayStation 4. It's fucking awesome. People still tripping about the downgrade. I'm just like I don't fucking care. The game's fucking beautiful and I'm about to I'm about to metaphorically dry hump this game for all its for all its worth, so uh you guys better be ready for this shit. Here we go. So, like, when I first saw Mark, when I first saw the when I first saw the new Spider-Man game, I was kind of awestruck because I was like, "What?" I was like, "What? This is this looks cool. What? What?" You know, because they showed it with uh, when you're fighting Mr. Negative and you're chasing after the uh, helicopter. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I mean, this Spider-Man game looks pretty awesome. It's a little bit better than Edge of Time and, and uh, Shared Dimension. I love Shared Dimension, don't get me wrong. Because people, because you know why I like Terry to mention so much? Because people always say, well, these multiverse Spider-Mans are too, like, complex to really understand. I'm like, boy, crack open a fucking comic book. Read that comic book. Like, read that comic book. There's a lot of places online you can actually read some of these comic books. I can't, I can't really say where, but they're, where, they're places. And you can go buy them, too. There's a lot of Spider-Man comics on trip in trades. Anyways, anyways, guys, like, the, tr like, I gotta just say this. I gotta say this, though. This game story is so good, it should be a sink. It should be, like, it should be the next Spider-Man movie, because, like, I'm playing it, and it felt like I was playing a Spider-Man fucking movie. Just, just everything was perfect, even though, even though the guy who played Spider-Man was Sasuke's voice actor. But, but I didn't really dwell on the fact that I'm basically playing. I'm basically playing a Peter Park, Peter Parker that sometimes, sometimes in certain scenes, kind of slips into his Sasuke voice. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but that's not a that's not a slime of the actor. He did a pretty good job as Peter. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sit here and sugarcoat it for any of you guys. Like he did a pretty good job, and I am really, really, truly impressed how much of a good job he did with Spider Man. Um, you know, so. Basically, yeah, we. I play. I finally play a game. I finally play a Spider-Man game with the Sinister Six. Even though they kind of uh, put it Martin Lee in there when there should have been. I'm pretty sure either the Chameleon or they should have put the Chameleon, and then they had Shocker, but but Shocker is only in like the first part of it, and he isn't really in the Sinister Six, even though he should be. Although, I'm about to really tell you a spoiler, so anybody who hasn't watched or played Spider-Man, played the PlayStation, hasn't played Spider-Man, you should probably leave right now. I'll give you a minute. Or just pause it, you know? I'll give you a minute. Hmm. You back? Or you want to listen to it anyway? All right. So basically, so basically, Spider-Man starts working for Otto Octavius in this in this new universe because he treats he sees Otto as a friend and as a father figure. And uh, Osborn, even though he's he's not really the Green Goblin in this one, I thought he was going to be because the the trailer kind of showed that he was actually going to be. It almost seemed like he was actually going to be in it. But no, Osborn is not the goblin in this. He's just Mayor Osborn. He's still a big, he's still a big ass dickhead. 
for a lot of different reasons. But other than that, he's not really he's not really the villain in all this. But he is the direct cause of why the villains want uh want you know, want to destroy the city and stuff. Um but yeah, there is some there's some stuff in this story that is so good. And I I know I said spoilers, but I'm thinking of pulling back because you guys need to experience it. I can tell you about it, but y'all need to experience it and maybe like a few, give me a few days and I'll really talk about the ending. But I'm telling you, care like let me just say this. Characters that are close to Peter can die in this universe. So no Dan Slot, no freaking Joe Casada screwing it up. And trying to change the, trying to bring back the status quo because we don't got freaking Marvel comics for another next, and Sony is cool with it. But then again, Sony is cool with just them getting the, getting the money that they so desperately need, because when they do those fucking um, movies without Spider-Man, they're gonna be like, oh, well at least the Spider-Man games are doing good. Yes, yes they are, guys. I swear to. I swear to God, they confirmed that they're going to do another game. And um, I, I, upon finding this out, screamed yay so loud. It woke some people up. I was like, I was just so happy. You guys have no idea. But uh, swinging, in the, swinging in this game, I got to say, at first, it took me a while to really get the hang of it, but when I really started getting the hang of it, man, I started zipping and swinging and doing all this other stuff. And yes, I did. Unlike IGN, who says, oh, it makes you feel like Spider-Man. It actually does. I know it's like a meme, but it fucking did make me feel like Spider-Man. It was actually pretty good. Okay? A lot of people will give you... Uh, other reviewers and people would just give you the track, the track from the uh, stealth missions with Mary Jane, but I feel like it adds a little bit to the Mary Jane's character. You know, you, when you start playing as her, you start figuring out why um, she wants to do all this stuff. Why she wants to be, why she wants to be in the thick of it. Why she wants to, why she's doing all this, and it's so great. Also, Miles Morales is in this universe, and uh, may, certain developments kind of bring him, bring him to Peter, and some stuff happens to him that I'm not really gonna. Which, when I think about it, not really in liberty to discuss. But he, let's just say he's close to being uh, the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man in the comics, which means. Two can either, because people are like, but Spider-Man had, but like, people are like, Spider-Man will have to die if Miles is going to be like, uh, going to be like the new Spider-Man. It's a possibility that Peter could die, but I feel like, I feel like in the next game, Peter is going to train Miles, and they're going to kind of have like a, they're going to kind of have like a, a sort of Batman and Robin kind of thing. And I, um, I would like to see more of that. The missions are cool, and the fact that you got all you get you uh, do these missions, do all the various missions, and you get the suits. You get all the Spider-Man suits, and it's so. Those suits are so, fucking, amazing. Just there's a lot of them, and they even have Ben Riley's suit, which I've been freaking frequenting. I've been frequenting. For the last few days, it, it, it's been a good, like, you guys know. Some of you guys, I never really said this, but yeah, I feel like Ben Riley was the best thing to come out of the Clone Saga. Like, the only thing that was good about the Clone Saga, I feel Ben Riley was the best part of it. Not the whole, oh, is he Spider-Man? Is, is, is he the real Peter? Is he not the real Peter? I always thought that was kind of dumb. Also, I found out in Clone Conspiracy, he was the Jackal, because I, I decided I wasn't going to read that, and then he, I found out he was the Jackal, and I, my, my brain, 
Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, the ki like every character, every character to me, every character in this game is represented right fairly. There, there are a few liberties taken, but they're not big enough to really make you go. These are not the same characters I know. Every acting character, even J. Jonah Jameson, which I really like. I want to slap. I want to slap. I want to slap that motherfucker so hard. No punching. No nothing. Just <laughs> fuck you, Jameson. You ain't doing shit. <laughs> like you'll you'll sit and watch, listen to his fucking little uh, radio show, and he's just like. Spider-Man this and Spider-Man that. The whole the whole city's going to shit in one of the like in the game is like, you know, because Doc Ock is like wreak Doc Ock and the Sinister Six is wreaking havoc and they're just like Well, it's still Spider Man's fault. I'm like, motherfucker like and he's like and then like the one like the one Jameson quote that really got to me was like like, he's like, Spider-Man, like, he said, Spider-Man doesn't even have any loved ones. I'm like, bitch. I'm like, Jameson, don't make me. Don't make me come come to your universe and beat the, <laughs> beat the shit out of you. I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And, uh, and, uh, I hear at the Victory Bronze Network, do not beat on the elderly. But Jameson is that one, like, Jameson is that one exception to that rule. Anyways, but, yeah, the story is good, and there are many, many, many things I can theorize on. Like, what if this, did this event happen? Eddie Brock's here, but it's kind of teased that he could, that the symbiote, the symbiote, um, Peter may have had the symbiote in this universe. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, you get a, you get momentum, you, uh, get some, you get Spider-Man's backpack, which will give you more, like, clarity in, into this universe, and more stuff to really know in the background. Um, and, oh yeah. Combat is fucked. Okay, combat is fucking amazing. Like, it has never felt... You know, at first, I thought it felt kind of stiff, but when you really start getting into it... When you really start getting in, getting into it and dodging where you need to dodge and punching where you need... You know, dodging where you need to dodge and pulling off your uh, various combos, it's like the best thing ever. Although, I didn't really care for the... Um, you know, uh, lab stuff. Usually, I'd hit the skip button because I, I'm not good at. Um, I wasn't really good at it. I mean, it's a fun little change of pace for people who want to break up. You know, want a little break from the combat. You know, like the stealth missions are with Miles and Mary Jane. It's pretty. It's like, it's like that. It's actually pretty. It's like you know. Again, I don't mind the stealth missions because it just adds to Mary Jane and Miles' character. You see what they do when Spider-Man isn't around. You know? I love that. I just love more character development to these characters, especially since this is a new universe and we get more character development. So, yeah. Also, there's a little bit with Harry being in being in, uh, being in, uh, Europe. But we don't know if he's really in Europe. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in this. I like the gameplay, the story, and I really did love the visuals. Even though people keep saying it's been downgraded. I'm like, I don't care. I'm enjoying this. I'm sucked into the story. I'm enjoying the gameplay. The story is fucking good. There's no Dan Slot, no joke. It's out of the fuck it up. I'm just enjoying it. I'm enjoying everything. Like, and some of that games, I mean, I feel like Dan Slot can learn a few things from, uh, from Insomniac. 
you know, because they're fans, but they don't let their fanboyishness screw up the story. It's just, it's, it's so, the story is so great and so interesting and so, so, you know, in some ways, kind of unexpected in some ways. I know, I'm just dry humping, I'm just dry humping the story to death here, but it's, it's a good one. Hmm. I don't really have anything negative to say. There, I don't really have anything truly negative to say. See what I did there? <laughs> you know, because you fight Mr. Negative, and I don't have any negative things to say. Anyways, I don't really have any negative things to say. The only thing, the only thing is, I ran into a few glitches, but they got patched out. <laughs> like, okay, I started a freaking, I started a freaking mission, right? So I'm like swinging, and then it cuts to. Uh, because the story thing is like go in here, Spider-Man. But then the then the glitch kind of goes into I'm like swan diving in reverse as the as the buildings are upside down and I'm falling into the sky. So basically, I go I die again. And everything's back to normal. But yeah. Also. There's one thing, like, like Doctor Octavius always knew that Spider, that Peter was Spider-Man. I mean, M, like, I can't say anything more. Aunt May says she knew, but I'm like, okay, that you know, she would probably know. But I'm like, I didn't think I don't knew, but yeah, you know, when I really started thinking about it, I don't knew because. I don't know because I think he just figured it out. You know, he was smart enough to actually figure that out. I think that's why he warned him, but still. But still, it was actually a pretty good game. Pretty good combat. Pretty good story. Visuals were visuals were on point. Characters were acting like themselves. Not some dark gritty mess. Like certain other certain other properties that deal with superheroes, nothing dark and gritty that made these characters not like what they're supposed to be. And and it was done by it was done with some love from a bunch of freaking spot from a bunch of people who really wanted to do a Spider Man game that were fans of Spider Man and I really appreciate it. And I can't wait till the next game guys. Those post credit sequences just have me just have me thinking, and, and, you know, I don't do a lot of theories, but when I do, when I have something I really want to latch on to, it's there. Oh my god, guys, just, oh man, I'm telling you this game, if you don't have it now, if you guys are still on the fence about Spider-Man, Spider like, it ain't good, it, it, it don't look like it did in Spider-Man 2, who cares, guys, just try the game, try it. Fuck, if you guys got Gamefly, that's still around. If you got Gamefly, fucking get this game, play it for a few days, and tell me you don't want to buy it. Again, I'm trying to think of anything, any, any other things that are negative, but I can't really find it. I can't really... There's not really negative things I really have other than, you know, having... Okay, there's one. Why have the black cat hideouts if she's not even going to appear in the actual game until the DLC? Which, I want to know, because there's going to be more DLC after the black cat stuff, so I'm wondering to myself, is, I'm wondering to myself, is black cat, like, it, like are we going to see Norman go like, are we going to, is Norman going to turn to Green Goblin? Is Harry going to turn to Green Goblin? A lot of people are saying that Harry's going to turn to the Joker. Eh, not the Joker. Venom Goblin, which I'm like, okay. I mean, it's cool that you guys want to turn him into Venom, but we already kind of have Eddie Brock, so I'm like... So I'm wondering to myself, instead of that, how about we just make Harry the Goblin or something? Like Norman mutates him, not into the like, not into the goblin we know, but like into the goblin from the from the Ultimate Universe. 
yeah, just something to think about. But hey, I'm done. Also, try. Also, folks that keep sending more. Folks that keep doing all the like Spider Man photo stuff they keep seeing on my feet, keep doing it. It's fucking. It's, it's amazing and funny. It's amazing and funny all at the same time. Bugsy out. I hope you enjoyed this review. I. Even though my ratings really don't fucking matter in the grand scheme of things, eh, I give it I give it a 10 out of 10. And this is my own personal score, which, again, if you're taking too much stock in what I, in my personal score is, I say just play it for yourselves and rate it for yourselves. Me, it's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's, it's hard for me to even find anything wrong with it. It's so hard for me to find anything wrong with it because it hits... Everything I've wanted in the Spider-Man game that I've been wanting for years, and it really brings back my love that I had for Spider-Man back in the day before one more day happened, and I was like, fuck this. Fuck Spider-Man. Fuck Joe Quesada. Fuck Marvel. Yeah, like, yeah, when I read One More Day, I was like, fuck this fucking, fucking book. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. I was just, I was, it was, it was bad. That's why, that's how much I hated One More Day back in the day. It was just not, it was not a good book. And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking that maybe the, the this universe is kind of pulled from One More Day, but eh, I don't got enough proof for that one. But hey, guys, enjoy your Spider, enjoy Spider Man. Get ready for whenever they do the second game. And I'll see you guys later. I may not be doing my wrestling thing today either. Uh, I'm kind of binge watching BoJack Horseman right now, and uh, the new season's up, so I'm gonna kind of be binge watching it for a few, for uh, probably for like a few hours. So uh, you probably ain't gonna get my wrestling thing until like next Friday, and I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. <sighs> but I shall see you later. But remember. Because I want to do this anyway. Nah. We're not doing that one. Yeah! Because I'm telling you, they used all the Spider-Man games at the base, and I'm telling you, there's a lot that they pulled from every Spider-Man game. Including this one, but mostly for the costumes. I'll see you guys later. Seriously, like I, like I should have said, they hodge, they like took everything from every other Spider-Man game, and it's so you can you can kind of tell. Like they took every Spider-Man game. And was like, how can we make the, how can we make these little Spider-Man um, these Spider-Man elements from these games better? And they did. It's it's, it's amazing. I'm done, though. I'm done. But I'll see you guys later, and remember, look out. Here comes the... Here comes the Spider-Man. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye, folks, and I hope you enjoy... I hope you enjoy...